So let's get ready to face Jesus tonight. Here we go. Of your home 
and by the Spirit, we have this power and this ability, as it says in the verse, uh, to speak over our situations, whether it's to, you know, claim dead things to life, uh, to bring healing and freedom and restoration, uh, not only in our own lives, but in the lives of others and in the world. So as we just continue to worship, let's continue to just welcome the move of the Spirit um, here in our midst um, and here and now. So I'm just going to pray real quick and we'll just continue to worship. So Lord God, we just thank you here for your spirit. Lord God, thank you that you are with us and you're present. Lord, uh, we just welcome you in this space um, and in our worship, Lord God. Um, would you just um, be present with us that you would help us to just experience um, who you are even um, in our lives right now, Lord God. And we just welcome you and would you have your way in us tonight. Um, in this we pray, amen.
praise and worship tonight. We have a wonderful service set up for you. So we'll see you then. So let's get... All right, how's everyone doing tonight? I'm uh, glad you guys are here uh, for summer nights. Um, so yeah, uh, my name is Jesse. I'm going to be your host for tonight, along with uh, Peter Riza, uh, who also will be co-hosting. Um, so yeah, um, how are you guys doing? Doing good. Uh, yeah, I hope you guys had a blessed uh, week. Um, we also hope you have anything to add before we go into testimony. Do you want me to? What? Oh no, we're just uh, going going to testimony. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So uh, yeah, I can start it off. Um, so it's really funny because um, my testimony is actually like related to um, like finances and like our whole um yeah just like a whole topic so um i found out like a couple of days ago that um my dad actually told me that um, my grandma had been like saving up um, money for me that he didn't even know about from like three years ago and it, it's crazy because it's actually like a really big sum of money <gasps> yeah um and <laughs> it was just like he really like didn't even know about it at all until like he brought it up he was like even surprised he was, like oh is this even like legit or is it like is it like fake because like he got it um basically like a letter in the mail saying like um i guess like he got it because I was, I was like of age where i can um like access it since i'm like 26 now and so yeah we're gonna like go to the bank and then um yeah see if we can like transfer it or like, like how like what we can do with it um it's just like really good news considering um it's really good for like you know future endeavors i just really thank god because like oh my gosh um even just like me and kyra we've been like talking about like I'm scared just like finance <laughs> in general <laughs> We're talking just like about yeah finances in general and like you should be happy kind of <laughs> yeah kind of worrying and just worrying about like the expenses of future endeavors and like how much that will yeah. cost <laughs> especially like with the event yeah. <laughs> <Kind of. laughs> um yeah just really thankful that you know god out of nowhere just like provided that that's that not out of nowhere <laughs> that's yeah. just god <laughs> yeah that is awesome. That's awesome. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. I'm so happy. Congratulations. Yay! Anyone else who has a testimony? I have one. <clears throat> we want to thank God that this girl has been sleeping for at least 10 hours a day. The, the last Yay! <laughs> Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yay. Finally. Thank you, Jesus. So, yeah, we're just thankful uh, that she's learning a lot of things and she's starting to cooperate and she's good. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Anyone else? <clears throat> oh, thank you, Jesus. You do <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> mm. Okay. <laughs> oh. I don't know if it's really testimony, but speaking of finances, uh, this week I finally opened up my own checking and savings because I had a um a joint account with my mom, and I just been putting it off for like the longest time. I finally have it under my own name, so I could like 
keep track of all my money. So yeah, I'm a big girl now. <laughs> That's it. M M again. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, this is so funny. <laughs> yeah. Do the, I don't know, do the math for you too, but hey. <laughs> Anyone else? Anyone else who has uh, any kind of testimony for this week? Mm -hmm. Do I have a testimony for this week? Okay. Um. <coughs> Anyone? No? No? Okay. Maybe you I don't think if I have one. Like the smallest thing I'm trying to remember. Mm -hmm. This week. Or something God revealed to you. And, and, and. Okay. Um. Alright, here's um not any more testimonies. Um yeah, like I said in the beginning, um yeah, our topic is yeah, we're starting our week three, the third of our series. Um <coughs> and then um yeah, kind of just like recap real quick. Um yeah, week one, we talked about um, what we use our finances for. So, like, some of us, we said, like, you know, what do we spend our money on? And some, you know, we said food. Um, some of the percentage of it goes to um, expenses, like paying bills, things like that. And also, um, we also talked about, like, using some of it for um, maybe, like, even, like, guilty pleasures, right? Like, you know, treating ourselves to certain things. And we also talked about um, the money mindset, like um, scarcity versus abundance. So, like, what is your mindset? Um, like, do you feel like, you know, God is providing enough or do you sometimes feel like um, it's not enough? And then we kind of, for week two, we talked about um, the value of purpose and work. And then we talked about, like, how work builds our character. Um, and how God um, wants us to work so that he can actually bless us. And then, yeah, for um, this week, we'll be talking, touching a little bit on um, um, generosity and also stewardship. So, yeah, Tita, if you wanted to add more um, with that. Yeah, so um, to start off, I just wanted to, you know, we've been talking about money and, and wealth. We even We kind of even touched on investment and gambling last time <laughs> at the very last minute so we kind of covered a lot i mean it's not ex expansive uh because it's really uh, a lot of uh, areas to discuss but i wanted i didn't want to leave this uh, series without touching on stewardship because um it's, it's a very important principle in the bible when it comes to our finances and what God has entrusted to us. So, uh, can can someone define stewardship for me, please? What is stewardship? What is your concept when it <coughs> when somebody says you're he's a steward or your or stewardship? When you hear that word, what is your concept? Your immediate what was the first thing that comes to your mind? Um, administering something on someone else's behalf. Okay. Good, good. What else? How about the others? When someone tells you, or when you hear the word stewardship. Mm, something about being responsible for something <coughs> and doing something with it. Okay, okay, okay. Taking okay. responsibility. Taking responsibility. <coughs> That's already the third time everyone said that responsibility so that's a big word okay okay anyone else 
being entrusted. Entrusted, okay. Entrusted with something, entrusted. administering, responsibility. Last one. Anyone else? Uh, CJ said taking care of something. <laughs> taking care of something, yes, yes. So when, when it comes to stewardship, the Bible um, clearly um, shows that stewardship is like all of you said. First of all, the, the principle of stewardship is it is not yours. <laughs> uh -huh. That's the very first thing. When you're a steward of something, definitely it's not yours. I mean, else's. Uh, it might appear to be yours, but when you look at it, it's really not yours because you are just a steward, um, which, which really is the truth. <coughs> and you know why? In reality, uh, whatever we have here, we cannot actually bring to the grave or to heaven, right? Whatever we make here on earth, when when it comes to wealth or, 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 or a business, even a ministry, you cannot take that with you to heaven. You leave it for someone else. So it's, <coughs> it's stewardship, you know, and stewardship requires that you administer it properly. You are responsible for it. You take care of it. And actually a good steward is someone who, if I leave you something, I expect you to make something good out of it. Profit. I mean, or, or make, make it profitable or, or make it uh, better. Okay? So that's the basic simplistic principle of stewardship. So let's, let's dive into Matthew 25. And somebody can please read that for me. Uh, Matthew... 25 because that is I believe it's verse starts with verse 14 to 30 Ooh, it's really long so if someone can read it for me that would be awesome someone with a really Redin can read it <laughs> wow volunteer talaga <laughs> I'm, is sorry, great voice. I'm sorry I'm sorry I like your voice, Claudine. <laughs> Wait, what are the verses again? Sorry. 14 to 30. Okay. Matthew 25. Again, the kingdom of heaven can be illustrated by the story of a man going on a long trip. He called, his, he called together his servants and entrusted his money to them while he was gone. He gave five bags of silver to one, two bags of silver to another, and one bag of silver to the last dividing it in proportion to their abilities. He then left on his trip. <coughs> the servant who received the five bags of silver began to invest the money and earned five more. The servant with two bags of silver also went to work and earned two more. But the servant who received the one bag of silver dug a hole in the ground and hid the master's money. After a long time, their master returned from his trip and called them to give an account of how they had used his money. The servant to whom he had entrusted the five bags of silver came forward with five more and said, Master, you gave me five bags of silver to invest, and I've earned five more. The master was full of praise. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been faithful in handling this small amount. So now I will give you many more responsibilities. Let's celebrate together. The servant who had received the two bags of silver came forward and said, Master, you gave me two bags of silver to invest, and I've earned two more. The master said, well done, my good and faithful servant. You've been faithful in handling this small amount, so now I will give you many more responsibilities. Let's celebrate together. Then the servant with the one bag of silver came and said, Master, I knew you were a harsh man, harvesting crops you didn't plant and gathering crops you didn't cultivate. I was afraid I would lose your money, so I hid it in the earth. Look, here's your money back. But the master replied, you wicked and lazy servant. If you knew I harvested crops I didn't plant and gathered crops I didn't cultivate, why didn't you deposit my money in the bank? At least I could have gotten some interest on it. Then he ordered, take the money from this servant and give it to the one with 10 bags of silver. To those who use well what they are given, even more will be given, and they will have an abundance. But from those who do nothing, even what little they have will be taken away. 
Now throw this useless servant into outer darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Wow. Thank you. Thank you for reading that. <laughs> That's kind of, it's like a movie, huh? <laughs> so what do you think? Uh, what do you think of stewardship when it comes to this? Well, let's, let's look at all the, the characters in this story. And Jesus, um, okay, when, uh, when he was sharing this, um, he was talking about the kingdom of heaven. Okay, if you look at the first verses of, uh, of uh, Matthew 25, and I think even before that uh, chapter, he was talking about the kingdom of heaven. Double check. Uh, so I'm not wrong. Yes, he was talking about the end times in uh, Matthew 24, and then on Matthew 25, he's talking about how the kingdom of heaven operates. Okay, and then he talks about this, and there are at least one, two, three, four, Stories. and then four main characters, and the rest are other servants. Okay. The first character is the master. The second is the first servant who was given how many? How many? It says here uh, five. Five bags of gold in the NIV. Let me just check on the New King James Version. What was given? Talents. Was it to say mm -hmm. talents, right? So it's either five talents or five bags of gold in um, the New King James Version. And the third character is the second servant who was given... Two. How many? Two. Two talents or two bags of gold. So whichever, okay? And then there's the third servant <coughs> who was given... One. One. So five, two, one, okay? And then the master left all of them and says... Uh, what did he say? Uh, he was traveling to a far country, and so he called his own servants and delivered his goods to them, and then he kind of por portioned it. Uh, and if you will look at verse 15, this is very, very important. It says, And to one he gave five talents, to another two, and to another one, to each according to his own ability. ability. Take note of that. To each according to his own ability. And immediately he went on a journey. So he gave them five, two, and one according to their ability. It's a fair share. So this guy can handle more, so he gave him more. This one can handle okay, so he gave him okay, this amount. <coughs> and this one can probably handle only one, so he just gave him one, according to his own ability, okay? And then, uh, let's see what, the, what, we, what they all did. So those are the ma four main characters, and then there's the other servants, okay, that the masters had, the master had when he came back, who he was ordering around regarding his main servants okay so what happened all the first two put to put to work what was given to them the last one with just one just hid what he had okay so what was the result when the master came back The it, master uh -huh. was not happy with the third servant. Because? Because he did not grow him any profit and hid his money. <laughs> okay, he did not grow him any profit. Okay, and <coughs> hid his money. Well, it says talents. Uh, it also says bags of gold. Either way, it is uh, an important uh, investment. In investment given to all of them okay so that's that's the principle of stewardship that something is given to you and that's my investment in you on you and i want you to grow it so for the first two they grew what was given to them and remember it says it was given to them according to their ability 
It's not like God gave them something they couldn't handle or something that they, uh, the master knew exactly how their capacity and that's why he gave them according to their capacity. But the one who was given one, uh, he did nothing with it. And I want you to look at both rewards, what the master said to both, to both uh, the first and the second, okay? Uh, the, to the first one who said, you gave me five, I have gained five more besides what you have given me. I've doubled it. So he has 10 now, right? Look at what verse 21, what the, in, in, in the New King James Version, it says, his Lord said to him, what did he say? Can someone read that? Verse 21. And then read also what he said to verse, to the second one in verse 23. Can you, can someone read that? Verse 21 and verse 23. The master was full of praise. Well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in handling this small amount. So now I will give you many more responsibilities. Let's okay. celebrate together. 23. The master said, well done, my good and faithful servant. You have been faithful in handling this small amount. So now I will give you many more responsibilities. Let's celebrate together. Do you see that? So the other one made five. The other one made two more. They doubled what they had. I mean, the amount was irrelevant. <coughs> one made 10, the other made four. I mean, made the two, four, the other made the five, 10. But they both received the same reward. Do you see that? They were given exactly the same thing. They were supposed to share, uh, they were going to get um, more more responsibilities, they will be given more responsibilities. They were being promoted and they are going to share in their master's happiness. Okay? Both of them. So that's principle, that's the that's the second principle. It doesn't really matter, okay? How much as long as you put it to work. As long as you put it to work, the same reward because God gives us according to our ability. When we use what God has given to us, the same reward is given to us whether we make more based on our ability or make only this much, as long as it's based on our ability. The same reward is given. Is there any question about that? Is that clear enough? <laughs> right? Okay, so that's, Second principle. And then let's look at the, the one who was given one. What do you think was happening in his mind? How do you view this guy? Let's see what he sees, what he sees about his, his master. master. Let's look at that. Because he, he kind of set it out there in verse 24 and 25. Can someone read that? I mean, allowed. <laughs> I can't, but let me pull it up. Okay. <laughs> I'm echoing. 24 and 25. 24. Do you have a version? It doesn't matter. Okay. <laughs> uh, wait, hold on. Oh, my God. Okay. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. Oh, no, no, that's 23. Then the man who had received one bag of gold came. Master, he said, I knew that you, I knew that you are a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed. So I was afraid and, I, and went out and hid your gold in the ground. See, here is what belongs to you. There you go. What do you think? Can someone tell me how this guy sees the master? sees him as a hard man hard man a cool a mean person a mean person okay a cool. 
a cruel and person. And when he, when he says harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not scattered seed, what does that mean? He sees him as a corrupt. <laughs> Almost, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Almost like, oh my gosh, is that how you see God? <laughs> right? Uh, and... And then um, in verse 25, he says, I was afraid and went out and hid your gold in the ground. I'll just give you what you gave me. To whom he is afraid. <laughs> and you see, the master didn't say, I am that, but the master only repeated how he saw him, how the servants saw the master. And he said, well, if that's how you see me, then the least you could have done if you were really afraid was at least put it in the bank if you couldn't work with it so that I would have interest because you knew that I, I if that's how you see me, that I get from where I did not uh, sow or scatter seed, then you should have, aren't you afraid? <coughs> and it's interesting in verse 26, he, 26, he says, you wicked, lazy servant. Like, Why did they call him that? Wicked and lazy. So I don't wicked. want to be called wicked, lazy. <laughs> so. Uh, Why do you think they call him that? Yeah, well. Because he didn't do anything. Well, That's lazy, yeah. Why wicked? Why wicked? Why wicked? Why wicked? What's a wicked person? Because then, um, I know. <laughs> it's like telling him that he's evil. Like, I think the wickedness is how he saw God. Mm -hmm. That's true. You know, um, when you have no regard for who God is and how gracious he is, that he even entrusted you with something that doesn't even belong to you in the first place. So, um, and then he, he, he could, it's like, I'm entrusting you something and I won't even be there to watch how you do it. I won't be, you know how at work sometimes there are people who micromanage you, you know, like watching every step you make, you know, yeah, it's, mm -hmm. it's annoying, right? <laughs> but this guy just leaves you, this master, and like, I know you'll put it to work. And so... What happened was that one bag of gold was taken from him and given to the one who already had 10. And then here's the final, here's the final um, principle behind stewardship. Someone read verse 29, please. So we can discuss this. For whoever has will be given more and they will have an abundance. Whoever does not have, even what they have will be taken from them. There you go. What is this talking about? Because he, in verse 30, he says, and throw that worthless. <laughs> so he called him wicked. He called, he called him lazy. And now he says worthless. Dang. Wow. I don't, I don't want to be, I don't want to be under the same. <laughs> what a negative progression. <laughs> I don't want to be under the same description in the eyes of the master with this guy. It's so scary. Um, it says, throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Wow. That's not talking about money anymore. It's talking about hell. <laughs> Which tells you that stewardship is way, way beyond money wealth or uh even uh what do you call this um uh, even talents you know it's talking about something else so what do you think that is it says whoever has will be given more and they will have an abundance whoever does not have even what they have will be taken from them anyone wanna Try and look. And what that is? How, how, what do you think that Jesus meant when he said that? 
I think it could be a lot of different things. Like, mm -hmm. it doesn't necessarily have to be money or mm -hmm. talents, whatever, whatever. But I think it'd be a lot of different things because, I mean, God can give you like blessings, for example. But if you don't, if you don't handle them properly, like, well, if you know, um, it, it won't go towards anything. It'll just be like, oh, cool. Towards. But I think it go it it can pertain to a lot of things in my opinion okay okay yes it's a lot of things well i guess the question is why was he thrown out into the uh into the outer darkness where there will be weeping and grinding of teeth and we know where that is That's the worst part. He was thrown to hell. Like, you know that's hell, <laughs> right? So, how how do you think we get that, lazy? I mean, we're talking oh about. Um, I know we're talking about money and finances, but because uh, I want you to understand that uh, how we manage and how we see the value of of finances, wealth, and work. This is the foundation of where we build everything else, okay? And like you said, how we see God, like I said, how we see God is about how we see, because obviously the other servants, they said, you entrusted me with this, so I made you a prophet, I gained you a prophet. But this guy... He said, uh, he didn't say, you entrusted me with this. He went right ahead and said, you are this, you are that. And so I just hid what you gave me because it might even be, it's like implying that, it's almost like implying you might have <coughs> taken it from someone, so <laughs> I'm going to hide it or something, you know. Um, what do you think? What are your thoughts on this? Like, uh, what's your question again? What, what, what are your thoughts on to whom, Much to everyone who has, who has more will be given, and to him, and well, it says in in the amplified version, to everyone who has and values his blessings and gifts from God, and has used them wisely, more will be given, and he will be richly supplied, so that he will have an abundance. But from the one who does not have because he has ignored or disregarded his blessings and gifts from God, even what he does have, he does have, will be taken away. You mean the moral lesson? Yeah. What, what are your thoughts about that? Oh. Okay. For me, uh, I, I see it as, uh, it's like this. Uh, the one is given a strict judgment, right? So for me, it means like uselessness invites disaster. What do you mean uselessness? Uselessness. He's unproductive. Mm -hmm. So the judgment that was given to him is kind of fair. Because he, he, he sees God in a different way. You know, he's accusing God. And he does. He didn't do anything about his talents that was given unto him. So it's useless. That invites his, uh, you know, disastrous life. For me, for me personally, you know. I don't know about about you. So is it fair to say that uh, everyone, regardless whether you're a believer or not, has been given something? by God. Yes. Does everyone yes. agree with that? Yes, right? Mm -hmm. And we see that. Uh, there, are p yeah. Everyone um, has been given uh, a specific amount of faith, the Word of God says. Everyone has a specific amount of faith, uh, a measure of faith. That's what the Bible calls it. And everyone has been given talents. Uh, in this uh, a business, uh, business, 
no, no, no. Uh, the training that I'm getting in the bus uh, business training that I'm getting uh, to set up my own business, they call it, everyone has superpowers, <laughs> you know, uh, and everyone has something that they're good at. You cannot say that there is nothing that you do not, that you're not good at. Like if I ask each one of you right now, what is, what has God been, has given you? What kind of talent? What, what do you think has God given you? Your quote unquote superpowers. Like creativity. 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 Creativity, okay. Yeah. Well, Design, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mark said, what's the question? Huh? What, Mark said, <laughs> repeat the question, please. Cause had to what get do that. you think God has given you? If you all agree Unlimited that God, knowledge. Unlimited I'm just kidding. Knowledge. I'm just kidding. Well, um, <laughs> Einstein. I didn't know we oh had an God. Einstein here. The power to save. What? Uh, the power to save? <laughs> um, but. <laughs> um, What's your superpower, Mark? Serving. Serving. Wow. Oh, humble naman. Helping <laughs> others. <laughs> Yes. Sir, what, what Starbucks. <laughs> okay. Having rhythm. Rhythm. Okay. Yeah. What else? How about the others? You, you, you have to know. You have to recognize that. What has the master left you with until he comes back? Hmm. Giftings. The Holy Spirit, <laughs> yes. That kind of covers everyone, <laughs> everything in everyone. Um, At the care said the Holy Spirit. Yes, oh, he's given us the Holy Spirit. <coughs> okay, Jesse. But did you know that the Holy Spirit has given us many gifts? Mm -hmm. Different gifts. What's your main gift given the Holy Spirit. And yes, the Holy Spirit is God's gift to us. <coughs> but He's a person. <laughs> what is the thing that got Singing. entrusted? Wow. wow. For someone who can sing. Oh, yeah. Auditioning for the praise and worship. <laughs> yeah, you know what, what the Master did to the one. <laughs> Who did not use his gift? <laughs> Man, okay. <laughs> Just kidding, that's true. Okay. Are you referring to the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit? Oh. Are you talking about that? Well, the main ones, yes. No, whether it's a material thing yes, or, because I or need physical. You, I want or... you to recognize that because some of you are walking without understanding what God has given you, has gifted you with. Mm -hmm. And I think for the most part, your Tito and I, that's our, our goal is to make you aware that do you know that this is your effect on people? Do you know that you're really good at this? Yeah, now when you do this, you encourage others. I, I want you to understand that, that you bring so much joy when you do that. You, you know, <laughs> I want you to see that. And maybe that's why I we have endeavored to kind of like redirect some of you guys into instead of being nurses to becoming, you know, uh, it's happened time and again, because I want you to recognize that if you haven't, because that's part of stewardship. Yeah, like you have to recognize what God has given you so that you can actually put it to work and develop it develop it and use it to make more whether financially or to just expand the kingdom of god that's the breath of what god has given you that the same gift things will give you both uh prosperity in finances in material mm -hmm. things as much as find uh, as as relationships and yeah, expanding the kingdom because he 
he just says talents and if you like i'm glad that she said the holy spirit you know either uh i'm sorry i don't know if it was <laughs> jesse or kyra who wrote that the uh, holy spirit but <coughs> it's the same holy spirit he's no different and the gifting of the holy spirit inside of us is the same gifting that god wants us to use for his kingdom for everything that that encompasses who we are spirit soul and body and whatever endeavor we have whether it's relationship work school business uh ministry or just uh family it's the same giftings that god wants us to use but uh for some of us we think that oh i I don't have that, so I can't, I can't be as, as successful as, as, the two. as the others. But you see, you cannot look at the gifting of others. You have to look at your own gift because when you develop. make use, develop that, you have the same reward as the one who had so much more. And there is, don't forget the, what the master said, share in his, in his what? Joy. There is joy when you're able to contribute and not just that to develop what God when you recognize and develop what God has given you. Mm -hmm. There is joy. You are actually sharing in the joy of the master. You're <coughs> actually uh, passionate about it. You're actually excited about it. Even though you're dead tired over it, you're excited. And it's the one that's fueling uh, why you're doing what you're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, you see a lot of people who are just so passionate about what they're doing that even though they're so tired sometimes at the end of the day, they have the same energy to go back to it the next day because there's something else that's fueling whatever they're doing. And that's why the Word of God says, fan into flame. <coughs> fan into flame the gifts that God has given you. And that's the gifting of the Holy, the gifts that the Holy Spirit has given you. You know, how do you find it into flame? Remember, recognize what God has given you in the first place and put that to work. You know, go back to where to the drawing board where God has given you <coughs> whatever it is He's given you and work with that. So Don't what, try to be someone else. So what are the giftings? Okay, what well, how about the others? What are your giftings? Come on, guys. Ritita wants to know. Video game? <laughs> Who says uh, <laughs> Uber driving? Whoa. driving? That you, that's oh, yeah, you people? Driving, driving. Uber, Uber driving? Driving is a talent. That's the reason why I use it for God's glory and God's purpose. You have to, you have to recognize that. Otherwise, you will be lost because you will be trying to be someone else. Which one? And not be you. When you don't, when you are looking at the giftings of others more than yours, what God has given you, you will get lost and you will be trying to be someone else instead of just being you. Mm -hmm. And you know what? You should like you because God has given you something unique that's only for you. Mm -hmm. And until you recognize that, Mm. Yeah. No. And I question. <laughs> Come on, we have a lot of talents. Yeah. Don't be spiritual. Singing is a talent. Sharing is a talent. Inviting is a talent. Right? Ooh, okay, Chris, you're a gift giving. Evangelizing is a talent. Yes, giving. Giving, giving. is a talent. Huh? Did That's everyone. Thanks. No, everyone does not have the gift of giving. Like uh, Kachina, she's like really bad at it. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm not good at giving gifts, but if you're with me and I have like money, I'll treat you out. And I like to think that's the same thing. That's like Tito. <laughs> but if you tell me it's your birthday, I'm gonna panic because I don't know what to give you. <laughs> 
That's me also. Do you like this song? <laughs> it's I just a different it. spectrum of <laughs> gift giving. But like I said, everyone's different. Everyone's given um, uh, a gift that's <sighs> uniquely yours. And you have to recognize, see, if you don't, then you're going to miss it the way the, the, third, the, yeah, the third servant one. missed it. And he suffered for it. I pitied the guy. But there are a lot of people walking, trying to be someone else, not recognizing what God has given them. And that's why they're lost. That's and, true. I agree with that. And that's why I always tell you, follow your passion. Where your passion is, everything else will follow, including money, yes, and finances <coughs> and prosperity. So for those who are saying, Oh, you're discussing prosperity. I really don't care because our God is a God of blessing and it does not honor Him when we are not blessed. Exactly. I'm sorry to say. <laughs> <laughs> and whatever you don't like in your prosperity, I'll ask God to give it to me. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. How about the others? What if someone's, um, what's it called? Their passion is finances. So they put all their money in stocks. Put it to work. <laughs> Which brings us to, to the next part, actually. Tell me your strength. Okay. Of why, why God wants to prosper you with all the talent that he has given you. Why? The big why. Is it so that you can just be a millionaire and be a billionaire? And, and why? Why, why are you given that gift? Why does God want you to, to put it to use? Let's see it this way. Like, if, it, if God is here right now and then ask us about the talents that we have or He has given us, can we answer Him back like, Oh, you've given me such talent and I had developed it and I'm bringing it back to you because it profits. So what, what are the talents that we have right now? If God oh, asks you personally, like, what is that that I have given you that you have developed in which I expect returns? So what it is? What is it? <clears throat> Hello. Hi. So, what's the question? <laughs> oh, are you asking about the talents, Tito? Yes. Well, firstly, um, I relate. Kids are here and stuff. Try to entertain them. But um, talents, um, I guess, um, uh, videography, because before I used to hate it. <laughs> no, like really, really, I did. Like every time Tita would ask me to make a video, I hated it because the, I'm the sorry. Process... <laughs> I hate. No, 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 because the process took so long. That's why. And um, but uh, I think God during during those those time, you know, God was just like building my character, and then looking back at it now, now that I can actually uh, make a profit out of it because uh it's a testimony too because uh next thursday is a um one of my client's wedding so i'm going well we're going to um, salt lake tahoe Ooh. So, Whoa. yeah that's that's a i think talent's being paid off you know that's good joey it's, that's good that's good to hear congratulations congratulations because i remember you were even in high school, you were already doing videos. You were, you were yeah. recording stuff. And I think that the reason you hated that when I was telling you is because you were still set on becoming a nurse. Perhaps. That's true. I think that's probably the reason why you like, why are you making me do this? Maybe at that time, I wasn't aware. How can I even make money out of this? Okay. Uh -huh. And that's why you were set on nursing because, like, yeah, me, right. I was 
influence. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm not saying you don't make money as a nurse. I mean, we have Nurse Kyra here. But is that what God has called you? Yes. That's, 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 that's a big question. What talents? And you have to recognize that. How about the others? Riza has one. Huh? Mm -hmm. That's the um, no, 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 no. Um, I don't know. For me, I feel like I'm doing a lot of things, not like bragging about it, but like, I don't know if, if there's like something that I think is interesting or cool, then I'll learn it and do it. <laughs> like, and I, I like know. that about you. And um, that's why I'm like, what, what's the, what's the latest reason? <laughs> I, I, I can ask you that and you would know, oh, there's this new thing. There's this app, there's this, 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 and you can do this detail. I'm like, oh, okay, where does she get yeah. on? Yeah, and that's a gift. Time. That's a gift. I, I like that. Yeah. Well, cool. Good to know. <laughs> yeah. Um. I guess. Uh. I guess another like a personal thing would be like my joy. <laughs> like I don't know. I I've a lot of people point that out to me, and it's kind of funny because it's just it's it's something really natural to me. So I think that's god-given because i don't think it's natural for other people or really it is. i don't know i don't know it's but ridiculous, right? that's a, yeah that's something i hear a lot that people tell me so i thank god for that because um yeah yeah like you said it's contagious so whoever needs it you know, yeah. come and get it <laughs> yeah if you need joy stay next to Riza. <laughs> <laughs> you'll be giggling after yeah that's good that's really good and you know um joy is not just contagious it says that a merry heart do is good. good like medicine so you know i have mm -hmm. i have one more talent doing laundry for my wife <laughs> <laughs> i think that's servanthood <laughs> carly is smiling i think he does the same thing <laughs> I think this will be a very interesting discussion among the married men later on. <laughs> Jesse, your mentors are waiting for you. <laughs> Learn of them. <laughs> and Mark. And CJ. Anyway, that's a good talent. I think that servanthood, uh, servanthood is a talent. Yeah. Uh it yes. uh it's it's mentioned in was it in 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 Ephesians or in Romans? If it's to serve, then serve. Yeah. That's what it says. Um so it it's a gift because not everyone wants to serve. Exactly. Everyone yeah. wants to be a leader but not servant. And that's the hardest part though. Oh uh, gosh. <laughs> Okay, I'm not going to say anything anymore. <laughs> I want to incriminate that, myself. Sure mm. uh, for me, uh, one thing that I develop as I walk with God is besides the servanthood. Wow, is, servanthood. Yeah, is that uh, I have this, I've seen myself as a, you know, I develop myself when it comes to uh, preaching. The word of God. At first, I, I I I am so afraid. Like I don't want to share. I just want to be silent. I just want to be at the back. I don't want to be a front line. I don't want to be. But you know what? If if God calls you, you cannot resist it, because you know exactly that there will come a time that when you share the word of God, you will see profit. And for me. The profit that I've seen in my, in my, uh, you know, passion when it comes to sharing Jesus to others, is the souls of people, you know, the 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 people like like you, like the the youth people, you know, the the people whom I I, I shared with about about Jesus and and that's my my reward, mm -hmm. you know, if if God will ask me what did you do with your talent. I'm going to tell God, like, I developed my talent. And look, these are the people 
who've heard the, the word of God, who has been uh, saved by the grace of God, and because you have given that to me, then I return it back to you because they are the, the, the returns of what you, you are expecting for the kingdom. You know, I've seen my talent when I walk with my journey with God. I didn't start a preacher. You know what I started? I started as a guitarist in the prayer meeting. Bible study. Bible study. And then my, my pastor says, oh, now you're going to be the MC. And then after the MC, you're going to take care of the children ministry. And then, but you know, my heart is apt for serving. I do not complain. Like every time they give me a responsibility, like, oh, this is an opportunity for me to develop things, you know, and I find it joyfully. I find it as a success. When I see children before, I met my, my wife a long time ago. She was handling children ministry. And she's good in teaching children ministry by giving them verses to memorize. That's the reason why I'm amazed. Like, I want that girl to be my, my wife because 100% she's going to be a, a help me to me in a ministry. And, you know. So that's one of my, my, my talent that I have developed. I know I have lots of talent. I can sell. I can talk to people. I can, I can even sell the Statue of Liberty if I want to. <laughs> you know, I can sell a palace in the middle of the ocean. I can talk. That I'm a sweet talker when it comes to, to sales. My parents uh, mentored me to be a very good sales person. I was always on the top in our in our company when I was working, you know. And and I thank God for those talents. Those are small talents, but you know, that makes us productive mm -hmm. for his glory. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I know I know that time will come there will be lots of talents that will, that will be developed in the send ministry. You know, as you walk as you journey with God, you will see your your talents and your calling. And well, it doesn't matter. I mean, I I want you to at least see. I'm sorry about yeah, you yeah, know that's interrupting. Right. You. Like, what is it that you see that God is showing you right now as a talent that He wants you to develop? Because sometimes it's also a season that He wants you to develop this first. You know, kind of like uh, small baby steps. Mm -hmm. Because probably you're not ready for the big, big thing, but at this point in your life, this is what he wants you to. So what is that? I want to hear from people. And if you want to take it to the next level, why do you think God gave you that in the first place? Which we will kind of use as a, as a way to <coughs> summarize this. Talking to people in general after hibernation. It's the hibernation. hibernation. Well, because, because we were like, we were like not thing for like a year. We we're not talking to people, like new people. But I do recognize that with you. Um, you do, you do have a heart to talk to people. That's um, really? Oh, I'm just kidding. Yeah, because, like, I remember on on Friday she would say, "I need to sit beside." this and that so that you know i can talk to them and i oh. like that <coughs> oh okay. right how many times did you say that to me because like, oh. um because uh, oh okay um to go back to your question i was like what am i thinking now um today i had a conversation with my coworker, and i've only been working at this job for like this is my my second week and we started talking about like <laughs> religion and stuff today and so like I think that your question was about God giving mm -hmm. exactly. <laughs> God giving uh like gifts or something talent um so I don't know if that relates but yeah yeah so you said creativity right I mean design and everything that's okay your, that, no 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 that's your creative talent but you, you see, now you're also recognizing I can talk to people. I can actually have 
conversation with people. If they're nice. They can talk to me in people. What? But. what the, don't worry. It's it's a season. You'll graduate from that <laughs> and you can talk to everyone. <laughs> nice or not nice. Aaron, you look scary. <laughs> <laughs> How about the others? Come on, guys. Look deep. Wait, we're still on the same question. Yes. Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, for me, I don't even know how to say it, but I don't even know if it's a talent, but I genuinely like learning. And I don't think a lot of people like learning, to be honest. Mm -hmm. But I feel like because of that, like, I remember a lot of stuff because I like and then because of that kind of like dad I know how to talk so I'll involve it into conversations mm -hmm. or like essays and stuff and then I'm able to like get a reward out of like doing that I don't know I don't know if that's a talent but I don't know I guess like okay, yeah. to talk to people and not stuff. every not everyone wants to learn I I the bible calls it <laughs> yes <laughs> refuses to learn is not wise <laughs> so yes that's good and and the fact that you 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 mentioned why and how you use whatever you are learning to strike conversations with people that's recognizing it why god gave you that gift okay that's what i meant with why did God give us those gifts? Why? Okay. Or to win scholarships. Yay. <laughs> yes. Why did you share that? You should have shared that. It's knowledge. Okay. How about the others? Very good. How about the others? No, I was going to say for me, um, I don't know if it's um a thing or not but like willingness to like try new stuff mm -hmm. or just like the willing heart i guess because like for praise and worship uh i wanted to do like drums at first <laughs> but then i ended up doing bass but it's probably <laughs> <laughs> it worked out at the end so yes yeah. thank you so much thank you for answering that i mean joey knows how that feels <laughs> but his prayer was answered so <laughs> but yes and and if you will have that it, i think it's it's about availability what that's being available like okay if you need me in this if i have to learn it i will do it and not everyone can do that mm -hmm. some people will say well that's not my you know i can't learn that so I'll give that to someone else but um if I remember even with Katrina, I asked her to do that. Can you just learn how? I mean, I, I kind of forced it on her, but hopefully she doesn't regret me doing that to her. <laughs> ah, but thank you for that. I mean, and now you know how to become a better bass player. Do you like that, Jesse? The fact that, you know. Yeah, I actually like it. There you go. There you go. He can't say that he doesn't like it right now, okay? I'm well, just kidding. He can't yeah, he honest. <laughs> Joy was honest, he didn't like it when I was making videos. He didn't like it at first. You know. There's a learning curve, okay? Um, and even if you recognize your gifting, sometimes it's a learning curve, and sometimes you want to give up. Like, I don't think I'm cut out for this. But when it keeps on coming up you have to recognize it right mm -hmm. how about the others come on guys this is an opportunity for you to say to god i recognize <coughs> what you have given me and even if i have not doubled it i'm working on it right now mm -hmm. True. how about the others mm. <laughs> um, I guess I guess I do have gifts but I don't really develop them um, but one of the things I do work on is my writing 
Um, sometimes I write things for Send. Occasionally I've done it for media. Um, I'm in school right now, and part of my goal is to get a writing certificate. Yes. But because I'm in school, I'm technically making negative profit on this <laughs> talent, and I'm afraid of what will happen to me if I die before I'm done. <laughs> so, <Okay. laughs> no. <laughs> we will just pray that it doesn't happen. And it's called an investment. So it's not negative, it's an investment, you know? Even when you're, like we were talking about last week, you know, like I'm, I'm in the process of a business right now. And honestly, I'm just paying for everything, you know? <laughs> There's no income yet. But why am I doing it? Because I know that if I do this right, I will earn a profit. So, you know, you just have to do it. But at least you recognize it. Mm -hmm. And that's why you're working on a writing certificate. Why are you even trying to do that? Right? And I know it, you know, you've written things for us. And it's like, whenever I read it, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's so beautiful, you know? You have no idea. Uh, because not everyone is gifted in the writing department. I know I can write, but I recognize your writing, man. And you're like, I, I'm not even at par. I just probably know how to, <coughs> I don't know, <laughs> encourage more. I don't know. <laughs> but you write them in a whole different <laughs> uh, layer of uh, beauty, so to speak. So thank you for that. How about the others? Come on, guys. We have time. A few more before we try to um, sum it up. Oh. Sum it up? I freaking saw your mouth at the reason. I was like, I know exactly what you were thinking about. <laughs> Where's Ian? Ian? Kyra has something. Okay, yes. Nurse Kyra. Yeah. Uh, hey. Do you like I'm a good. Do you hear me? Oh my god. <laughs> really? <laughs> Hello. Okay. Um, I feel like I'm a pretty good listener. And I I really try to practice that when I'm talking to my patients because they love to talk too, so <laughs> I feel like it's very helpful <laughs> in my job. That's yeah. true. That's true. And um, <laughs> I think that's really important, especially when you're uh, caring. Some people don't don't want to be talked to. They just want someone to listen, you know, and be heard. Actually, just yeah that's very true it's a gift and if you recognize that and you use that kudos to you how about the others anyone else okay if there's no one else who wants to share or take a turn on their gifts and talents that god has given them let's answer the last question to wrap this one up is why we were given this talent in the first place. Why? Why are you given uh, your your giftings, your talents? Why are why is God giving you the principles of work so that you can create wealth? Why is God giving you your talents so that you can come up with these beautiful things that you do creatively, or or even organizationally, or even to uh, some people are really good with finances or administration or good with, um, like my husband, with preaching and sharing. Why? Why has God given us all of those? What do you think? Um, for others. Okay. Because, um... I mean, we talked like like just now. We talked about like all of our different talents, and um, 
I don't know, somewhere, somewhere when you were talking, it, I kind of like realized like we all have these like different talents because it, in some way it also complements each other and stuff. So like what one person is good at, some that person can like help the other person. And like, I don't know. So it's a kind of like an exchange of things. Mm -hmm. um, and also what you were saying about like businesses and stuff and how like, say like, like even celebrities, like celebrities like have so much money and like um, the good, not, not the good ones, but those, the ones that do, <laughs> they like um, put some of their money to like charities and organizations and like to help people. So mm -hmm. like, I feel like it's, yeah, to help, to help and bless others and also yourself, but other people. <clears throat> I guess so yeah that's 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 really good because I want you to picture okay let's see this and this is not uh, this is not just a theory it will happen it will happen that you will be a successful person and when when that happens you have to take a step back and say why am I being successful? Why am I being blessed with this? And you said that, that celebrities are starting to realize, why am I being given all of this money? Why am I given all of this? Uh, and that's why you keep the, hearing them of them creating um, charities, creating this and this and giving to this. Why? Because they realize this is not just for me. And the reason for that is they've maxed out on the enjoyment of what they have and it's not making them happy anymore. Mm -hmm. That's true. Does that make sense to you? Mm -hmm. So there is a bigger reason that God has given us a gifting and he wants us to work on it. Double it if we can. Well, based on, the, on what Jesus says, it is possible to double it. Right? And... The sharing in the happiness of the master is the, the main reward. Well, he says he will give you more, right? He will bless you with more. And that's why the people who are actually successful are, are also the ones who are able to accomplish much more. Uh -huh. Incredibly. Like, they're already successful and they're becoming more successful. And you know what? There's a verse in the Bible about that. Isaac was described that way he was successful he was prosperous and then he was became more prosperous and then he became very wealthy it says very wealthy there's progression there was progression um and to think that he started in famine during famine so there's a reason that god wants us to do that and until we understand the reason and actually do what that is for there is no real joy that we can share with the master like like uh jesus said in that uh parable of the servant share in your master's joy what was the master's joy the master's joy was to see that the gifting that he has given was developed was developed it prospered and it had a return meaning to say if we share in the master's joy when we also are prospered we have to what did the master do he entrusted somebody else he gave what he had to someone else and let them work with it so that means it's giving that's that's the gift of giving you know uh, who said that the giving there, there was someone who who wrote that the gift of giving as a, as a was it Jonina was it Jonina who said giving is a gift what's her gift somebody said that hey Chris oh Chris Chris was the one who said that yes uh, so that is the main goal and I want you to go to somebody please read that to me please second Corinthians and we're going to try to wrap it up with this one. Second Corinthians 9. Becoming my favorite verse right now. Oh, 
let's change the I think it'll be NIV. I want you to read this in an NIV, please. Okay. It's the NIV. Where's my NIV version? Nine. Eleven. You will be enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. And through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. You see that? You will be enriched in every way. That's the promise. That's your reality. It's not an if. It's a will. You will be. If you are in Christ, you will be enriched in every way. But there's a, there's a second part. Why? So that you can be a blessing. You can be generous. This is not even no. just to give. It's to be Obvious. generous. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Generosity is what is the reason behind everything that God has given us. He wants us to have his own heart of generosity. Because God is generous. And that's why if you have something and you are not being generous about it, you're missing the blessing. That's your blessing. That's you sharing in the joy of the master. Whether it's finances, whether it's time, whether it's your personal gifting that you just shared with me, or your talents, if you are not able to generously share it with others, then you will miss the joy of the master, of sharing in the joy of the master. That's keeping, up, keeping it to yourself, actually. Mm -hmm. On every occasion. And, and mind you, on this verse, this was talking about finances primarily. Some people will say, oh, that's about uh, spiritual things. Well, you are as spiritual as your money goes, honestly. <coughs> <laughs> okay? Uh, so, you are enriched in every way so that you can be generous on every occasion. And through us, your generosity will result in thanksgiving to God. Because people, when, when Christians should be the most generous people on the face of the earth. Why? Because we were saved in spite of who we are. That alone should be enough reason for us to be generous because God was generous with us. You know? We don't deserve a lot of the things that we have, yet God has given to us. You heard Jesse's testimony, <laughs> you know? That's like God giving to us. I, you didn't know about it, but it was being stored up for you. And how many blessings has God stored up for us and is giving to us daily, fresh grace, fresh, fresh blessings? What are we doing with it? Are we generously sharing it with others? Generosity is the main reason God blesses us. Keep and I, I cannot overemphasize that. Anyone who wants to chime in? Your thoughts on this? Because <coughs> I could end it here with that, but I just want to hear your thoughts. I don't want to go into the others. <laughs> yes, anyone? Or any... Any experience on that one? Yes? No? On um, generosity? Yes. Yeah, I did. I feel like thinking about like an experience that I had <laughs> with generosity, mm -hmm. honestly, <laughs> all the authors and queers. Um, like just this whole group, when you think about like how much time and like, um, like effort we put into all the oh stuff gosh, that we do, angel. um, like we're so generous. I'm sorry. Um, I got <clears throat> this girl. Um, <laughs> it's okay. but yes, 
I think like my experience with this group, um, I was never really a generous person until like I started overflowing with God and his love to just like give. Um, and also seeing it like um, in my community, which is this, um, like it just encouraged me to want to give to people. Um, so I think like this group and my experience with everyone. Amen. Thank you for sharing that. That's awesome. That makes my heart sing. <laughs> Anyone else? <laughs> oh, ganun talaga. Okay. Joey is so Filipino. So Asian. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm not hating on Asians, okay? But I'm an Asian too. How about um, the others? <coughs> oh, me. what? Okay, wait, hold on. Before, hold that thought. Just, <clears throat> just in case I miss it. Part of the reason God wants us to be generous is so that we will not be attached to our gifts, talents, and wealth. Okay, the best way to keep ourselves from being selfish and stingy is to be generous. That's why God had a very hard uh, uh, thought on the foolish man who built and just built, keep on building for himself. God says, no, you're not supposed to do that. You're supposed to give it away. No. Okay. Anyway. Yes, Katrina. Um, for me, um, yeah, I don't, I've said this multiple times, everybody knows this, but I've never had like a stable job. So like every time I was able, like in my life, every time I was able to gain some sort of money, like I, I would really like feel blessed because God would just give me money out of nowhere. Mm -hmm. Um, and like like I don't know like sometimes I'll look at my bank and I'll be like dang like I could do something with this and um like God gave me this and I don't think he would want me to just keep it all in here and just save it all in my savings just so I can have something and that's something that I could easily fall into because of course I don't have a job so I'm gonna think like oh my god what if I spend all of it you know like um or you know, I don't have a job I need to have savings or something like that right but I don't know like every single time like God provides I'm just kind of I have like this feeling that like man like God really doesn't want me to keep all this here like and he also doesn't want me to feel like stingy about it or feel like oh I can't treat myself out as well you know like he it just reminds me that like like it's kind of like the the thing the don't store up everything in your barns whatever it's something verse that one because like you know you never know if you can die tomorrow or something or the night of or something but like yeah it just makes me feel like compelled to have to like treat people out or something like that like like I told I, I told you guys earlier like I'm not good at gift giving but like I really like going out with people and like buying food and stuff and I like <laughs> like if if I can I'll treat them out and stuff so yeah, like that's something where I know that like um I know that God was generous enough to give me this like amount of money even though I have no actual like way of gaining it, but he still does give it to me and I'm just like I just get really amazed by that. And like a personal testimony like this literally happened to me yesterday like where I opened my email and then it said that I was able to, I got randomly like randomized, picked out of a community to get like $500 for an award. And I was like, when did this happen? Oh, wow. I was like, what the frick? I was like, and then like two hours later, I got another email that said that I was a part of a community that was eligible to receive up to $1,500 in in money. And I was like, <laughs> God, I just woke up. I was just like so confused, but stuff like that like like I'm not working but then out of nowhere God gives me like anywhere from like 
how five hundred to two thousand dollars like i was just like that's so crazy like how can i just keep all that in my bank account you know like i have to be able to like give back or something you know mm -hmm. so it's just stuff like that like that has always been very prominent in my life because i don't have a stable job and god just like does that randomly like from time to time and i'm just like dang that's jesus like it's literally a miracle so yeah thank you thank you for sharing Yes, thank you yeah. for sharing that. Awesome. Oh, shock. <laughs> Anyone else? Thank you for sharing that. Uh, we have time. Uh, I just wanted to kind of follow up on what she said. It reminded me of the verse before uh, 2 Corinthians 9-11 where you will be enriched in every... The verse before that said, Now he <coughs> who supplies seed to the sower and bread for food will also supply and increase your store of seed and will enlarge the harvest of your righteousness. So meaning to say, if you keep on using that seed that God has given you, you keep on sowing it in other people, he will also increase the supply and store so that you can enlarge, it says, enlarge your har harvest of righteousness. Because, you know, when you, when you plant more seeds, of course you get more, more harvest later on. <coughs> and if it's a harvest, it, that sometimes it takes a while before you harvest something, right? But you keep on planting those seeds. You keep on being generous. And mind you, the generosity is not based on how much you have. Remember, of the three servants, only one was given just one. But the fact is, he did not use that. He did not use it. So even if you say, well, you know, like Katrina was saying, she can be tempted to say, well, I don't have a job, so I cannot afford to be generous. Be generous and just keep on giving. But, but see. You have to recognize, like I said, it's not yours. So guess what? The one who gave it to you will keep on giving to you if you use it. Amen. How about the others? Come on, guys. I want to hear from you. I had something to learn. I guess it kind of connects to what you're talking about or what you mentioned. Because um, what's it called? Because most of the time I don't really stress about like money um especially now because you know I don't have a job but the only time I do stress about it is like if I get pressured about something <laughs> but for like most of my adult life uh even now when I wasn't when even even when I was working and paying for a lot of things um it kind of just stuck in my head that you know like what you said like when you give uh, obviously it's not ours and God's the one that's going to supply it mm -hmm. that's why like for me it's like also the other verse that um about giving is uh better than receiving or the people mm -hmm. are more blessed when mm -hmm. they give mm -hmm. um I guess that always stuck in my head whenever I, whatever I like kind of give things to people or like um Maybe. i don't know like help people out or whatever or like make something for someone or like get them something random or whatever and i don't really expect anything back it's just sometimes i just think of some or i see something and i think of a person and then you know i like make it or get it for them just because you know i know that's something they they like or whatever or they're interested in and you know i don't expect anything back because obviously that would put a, a foothold in your in your life because you're like oh well I always give this I always give this much to people and you know I don't get it back and you know that that becomes a struggle in your life mm -hmm. that's why you know I don't I don't like to think that way either even like for example like when I when you know when I'm being told to buy something or someone asks me to get them something because I'm out you know, it's like awkward for me to like I don't like to get i mean i would like the money back but at the same time i don't ask for it back because it's like no nah, it's okay like you know it either because i'm you always say oh no i'll just give it to you i'm like nah. or you know people are like how much was it and i'm like oh i forgot and i just walk away because <laughs> it's like 
awkward. I'm like, I already got it for you. So like, it's fine. Like stuff like that. I'm like, you know, <laughs> um, but yeah. Um, yeah, I, that always like stuck in my head to just give. Mm -hmm. And then, um, also about like, um, not stressing about like where money comes from, because I know that God's always going to provide enough and more than enough. Like I remember how many times, you know, I know some of the others felt has experienced this too. Like, Oh, like I wish, or I feel like this. And then, you know, I wish I had, or like, I prayed to God, like, God, you know, I'm kind of feeling like down about some money or this and that. Or, you know, I kind of wanted this, but I don't have the money for it. And lo and behold, Amazing. see some money on the floor. And I'm like, oh, dang, this is all Jesus. Um, yeah, because you. Yeah, because I remember recently I went to Bye Bye Baby to return something. And they jip you and take 20% off if you don't have a receipt. And I was like, what, 20% off? Yeah, it's crazy. So I was kind of irritated about it. But at the same time, I was like, well, I have nothing to do with it. Like, Nayeli's not going to use it. So I just wanted to get like some money back. And then when I left the park, when I left the store, I found $80 right under our car. And I was like, dang, God's just redeeming this. It's just so <laughs> funny. I was like, this is all Jesus. I know I lost whatever 20% that was, but you know, $80 is $80 on the floor. And that thing was not worth $80. But yeah. That's yeah. fine. That's <laughs> fine. <laughs> um, then, yes. Yeah. There's a lot of times where you just find money on the floor because of, you know, Jesus loves me. <laughs> Amen. Amen. Oh. That is awesome. That's awesome to hear. And I, I think uh, when you use your talents to actually put a smile to someone else's uh, face, when you get, oh, there's nothing like it, you know? Uh, yes, money will, will help, but when you make something for someone, and this is a note to the married people, Yes, you can buy stuff for your significant other, for your spouse, but something you make is precious. Precious. You will never forget that. Like doing the laundry for your wife. <laughs> Joey. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of the money. Okay. Anyone else who wants to share before we wrap it up and pray? Jesse, do you want to share anything? You stop no, no. talking. <laughs> no, no, I was just going to say, I'm so I just like. To I can't hear. Uh, yeah. I can <laughs> I was just going to say, I like the point about like generosity, like becomes Thanksgiving. Like when you have, um, like when you know that God's already providing, or you're already giving that, which already God's, and then you can be thankful for that. Yes, yes. Uh, one thing in God's kingdom is you will never be able to outgive God. Never. Uh, there's no way you are giving. He will give you back so much more. That's he made that very clear. Even with when Peter was asking, "What do we get as a reward for leaving everything?" He said, "Much more. We will get much more. This, this, and that." So, in this present age, not in heaven, in this present age, he said. So, guess what? Whatever you give up, and, and I challenge people about this, whatever you give up for God's kingdom, there's no way God is not going to give it back to you a hundredfold. Amen. So, all the FOMOs people out there, I'm sorry, but you got it wrong. <laughs> You're the one missing out because uh, God says he's going to return much more, much, much more. And the first thing that people who feel like when they are in church or they get involved or serve in the ministry, they're missing out on the world. 
if you don't have joy in your life right now and you're not content, you're, you're missing out. <laughs> you're missing out on the joy of the master. That's what you're missing out. So I encourage you to go back to the one who gave you everything that you have and work with that. Work with it. Amen? Amen. Amen. Is that it? Is there anyone else before we close? No? No? We can... Okay. Who wants to pray? Who wants to close us in prayer? We will start a new series next month. We don't know what it is, but... <laughs> Thank oh, you for Ian? everyone who shared. Ian, are you volunteering? <coughs> to pray. <coughs> Yeah, you want to pray? Like, I can pray. Okay, okay. thank you. Okay. The other Ian. Yeah, <laughs> I'm turning to him. <laughs> he needs to All right, go, Miss Girl. You. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> Closing his eyes like that. Why do you smell like? Candy. I just ate some. I can heck a smell. Okay, let us pray. Okay, Lord God, thank you for this time you have given us in these past few weeks to be able to talk about finances and everything related to it, Lord God. Thank you for letting us learn about stewardship and generosity, Lord God, and how um you as our um, God and our Father display this, Lord God, the most, Lord, when it comes to us. And um, I just pray for each and every person here, Lord God, that you will bless each one of us um, financially, Lord God. Mm. And I pray that um, you will turn our hearts into generous hearts, Lord God, that um, are excited about giving, Lord God, and not being um, uh, reliant on money, Lord God but reliant on you as a provider, Lord. And I just pray that you will just um, make this a year of finances, Lord God, um, financial provision, Lord God. Mm -hmm. And that um, you will just continue to bless every single person, Lord God. And I pray for anyone who comes across this video, Lord God. Um, I just um, pray a prayer of blessing, Lord, over their yes. life, Lord, that um, if they are in a rut where they need money or a, even if they're just better off, Lord God, um, I just pray that you would just provide for them, Lord God, and just give them tenfold still, Lord, and that um, you will just work in their lives, Lord God, and meet them where they're at, Lord. Yes. And I just thank you, God, for this great series, Lord God, and um, this great <coughs> time we had together. And um, I just pray that next week will be fun too, Lord, and that the remainder, the remainder of our nights will be good. And lastly, I pray, Lord God, Jesus, for anyone um, in school, Lord God, or anyone who's working right now and struggling to have any motivation or to have um, any energy, Lord God. I just pray that you fill us up, Lord God. You fill yes. all of us up. And um, we just um, rest in you, Lord God, and that um, we will be able to receive your energy, Lord, um, and get through everything without worry, Lord. And I thank you, God, for everything you have done. Bless the rest of this day. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. 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 Close it out, Jesse. What is saying? Right. Why don't you so, yeah, thank you, like Tita, again for uh, oh. leading this discussion. Um, some quick announcements as well. Um, yeah, we have 11 a.m. service in person or virtually on um, Crossroads Christian Center uh, this, this, every Sunday. And then we also have a 7 p.m. prayer um, every Wednesday and Sunday. On Wednesday, it's um, IG Year Send, and for Sunday, it's um, Crossroads Day City. Mm -hmm. And we also have devotions for men, women, and also mothers and that'll be every for men and women it'll be every thursday at seven so yeah if you guys um are interested in joining um just hit us up on our social media um and yeah other than that um is there anything else um yeah i think that's it so um yeah we'll see you guys next friday yes next friday so thank you for joining god bless you love you bye Thank you.